From the Detroit Free Press, I'm Robin Chan with today's voice briefing. It's Wednesday, November 27th, 2024. From Phoebe Wall Howard and a special to the Detroit Free Press. The magical space created by the restoration of Michigan Central Station in Corktown has officially opened its doors to the public for a month of winter celebration and holiday shopping with gifts unique to the historic site. According to station spokesman Dan Austin, over the weekend, more than 3,000 visitors stopped by to check out the holiday display that was promoted on Michigan Central Station social channels. Two dozen vendors are featured inside, some staying long-term, while others bring the pop-up presents known to attract so many shoppers to Detroit every holiday season. Winter shopping hours run from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. through Saturday, December 28th. The station is closed Sundays and Mondays. Fridays and Saturdays feature special Winter at the Station events, and crowds are expected to be large, so tickets are required. Live music is part of every Friday during the 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. public hours, which require a $10 ticket. Saturday hours from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. are free, but do require tickets for entry. Tickets are available at michigancentral.com. For more on this story, you can search on Freep.com for Phoebe Wall Howard's special to the Detroit Free Press. Renovated Michigan Central Station opens grand halls for holiday shopping experience. From automotive reporter Jamie LaRoe. An explosion of a tank that stored an oil and brine solution at General Motors' Milford Proving Ground has left two homes damaged, but no injuries. Firefighters said they had the fire under control in about an hour and would start investigating the cause. State environmental officials were also on the scene to work on cleanup and investigation of impact. Brighton Fire Authority Chief Michael O'Brien told the Free Press at 6.49 a.m. Tuesday, crews were dispatched to GM's proving ground with a report of an explosion. O'Brien said two homes, located about 200 feet away from the explosion, along with the tank itself, were damaged from the blast, but the occupants inside the houses were not injured. In an updated statement emailed to the Free Press at mid-morning Tuesday, GM spokesman Kevin Kelly said the automaker was examining the incident. For more on this story, you can search on Freep.com for Jamie LaRoe's article, Tank Explosion at GM Proving Ground in Milford Damages Nearby Homes. From personal finance columnist Susan Tompor. Don't be shocked if you're hit with all sorts of deals to tempt you into opening a store-branded credit card this holiday shopping season. Nearly three out of ten consumers indicated that they are at least somewhat likely to apply for a store credit card this season, according to an online survey by LendingTree, an online loan marketplace. LendingTree commissioned Question Pro to survey over 2,000 U.S. consumers ages 18 to 78 in September. According to the survey, more than half of consumers who applied for their most recent store card did so for the discounts or rewards. Many of these credit cards might work out just fine, especially if you pay bills off in full and don't want paper statements. But there could be hidden fees, higher than you'd ever imagine interest rates, and some pretty key drawbacks. On Freep.com, Susan Topor highlights what you should consider regarding store credit cards in her column, Five Things to Know Before Opening a Store-Branded Credit Card. Find more from the Detroit Free Press on Freep.com. That's F-R-E-E-P dot com. Thanks for listening, and you'll hear more from us tomorrow.